Today on this Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make rye bread. I'm showing you two different ways to make rye bread. We're gonna make a simple, basic, lighter rye bread, and I'm also gonna show you how to make a dark rye bread. If we take a quick look at our ingredients that we're gonna use to make the two different rye breads, you'll see that it's super similar, except for these two ingredients that will give it that rich, dark color. Both of them start the same way. You'll need one and a half tablespoons of instant dry yeast, so you don't need to let it proof one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two cups of warm water, and that you want that to be just warm like bath water, not too hot. Then one and a half tablespoons of caraway, which gives it that wonderful flavor. One and a half cups of rye flour, which you should be able to find at any grocery store, especially any grocery store that has Bob's Red Mill. I just buy the dark rye flour. It's also available in grocery stores with bulk bins too, so you can save a few cents if you do it that way. And then last, you need some all-purpose flour. You'll need about three cups, but I start with about two and a half, because you can always add more later as you need it. We'll get this mixing. Let it knead just until it starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl. You want the dough to be tacky, but not so sticky that it sticks to your hands. Then we will transfer this to a lightly greased bowl and roll it around so that the oil gets all over the dough so it doesn't dry out. Cover it with a towel and let it rise until double in size, which will take about one hour. Now, if we wanted to do a super dark rye bread, or if you wanted to do a marble rye or something like that, it's pretty similar. It starts the same way with one and a half tablespoons of instant yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half tablespoons of caraway, two cups of water, but then you add in a quarter cup of cocoa powder, and I'm using Hershey's Special Dark so that it gives an even darker color, and three tablespoons of dark bootstrap molasses. Then back to the same, we go one and a half cups of rye flour and just a little bit more all-purpose flour this time between three and three and a half cups. And once again, don't add it all to begin with because you can always add more in later. And you'll mix this into a dough ball as well. You can see here, this is just a much darker color with that cocoa powder and molasses in there. Once again, you just let it rise until double in size. Now the dark rye has just a slightly different flavor with those rich earthy tones with the cocoa powder and the molasses but both are delicious, so you can do either one. Now, after the dough has risen, you want to dust a pizza peel, or you can use a cutting board, any flat surface really, with a little bit of cornmeal. I like to brush it out a little bit. Then we'll grab our dough out, and I just start pulling it around. If you can see how my thumbs just kind of pull from the top, and we're gonna shape this into a loaf, and it happens really fast. It really only takes about 30 seconds to get a nice little loaf going, and we can place that onto our little peel. Let this loaf rise for 40 minutes. In the meantime, you'll want to get a baking stone preheating in the oven to 450 degrees. Now, a cool trick for bakery-style bread is to cook it on this baking stone and then slide a pan underneath. Just make sure you're not using a glass pan some water. Once we get our loaf into the oven, we're gonna pour water into that little shallow dish below to create a steam oven, which gives a beautiful bakery-style crust to our loaf that's just so good. If you want the top of your loaf to have a nice bakery-style finish to it, you'll add about a quarter teaspoon of cornstarch to some water. And then I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds until it turns clear. Well, we'll call it clear-ish, but you can see that the cornstarch has dissolved. We're gonna brush this over the top of the loaf, and I go around the sides and the top, and just get that a little bit wet, then use a sharp knife to slash the top of this, and then we are ready to bake. We'll slide our dark rye here onto the baking stone, and then pull out the pan here and pour in some water to create our steam oven. This is why you don't want to use glass, because if you pour cold water into a hot pan that's glass, it will shatter. Water. 
Slide that back in and close the oven. Let it bake for 30 minutes and then transfer it to a wire rack to cool completely before slicing. Whether you make the regular simple rye bread or add a little bit of darkness to it, you are going to love this easy bread recipe. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.